Okay, so today I'm going to give you a quick overview of RGT's brand new acoustic guitar synth. Now, whilst the core elements of these exams hasn't changed, there have been a huge number of new tunes added to the syllabus. Across all of the grades, a number of acoustic players have contributed their own compositions or tunes they've written specifically for the syllabus. So you'll find Irish tunes that have been arranged for guitar, blues music, contemporary finger style stuff, there's some percussive guitar in there, as well as plenty of alternate tunings. What I think has been done really well is to provide that variety of acoustic music across the grades, as well as really, you know, providing what actually modern acoustic players want to learn to play. So let's first of all just go through and highlight what hasn't changed and what has carried over from the old syllabus into the new syllabus. So the core elements of the exam are still there. So the fingerboard knowledge section where you're tested on a load of scales, arpeggios and chords across all the grades, that remains the same. It's worth also noting that um, the requirements are the same. So you're essentially still tested on the same scales that you were in the old syllabus. So that does of course mean that the requirements of the accompaniment section across each grade, as well as the oral section across each grade remains the same too. So the rhythm playing study, that remains the same. That's where you're given the core progression to prepare uh, for performing in the exam. The solo piece, which is kind of the big part of the exam where you choose the tune that you'd like to play, that's still in there, as is the option to choose to play a finger style study at grades one and two, that remains the same too. Musical knowledge section, that's still in there, as are the accompaniment and oral assessment. So as I said, core elements of the exam stay the same. So just to add to that, you do still have the option of choosing a free choice piece across the grades, provided that is of a similar standard to that of the grade that you're sitting. Now for some of the higher grades where you have to choose two pieces, do bear in mind that one of those has to be taken from the handbook, the other can be a free choice piece. So that's still an option. Perhaps just also worth mentioning that the way that the exams are assessed remains the same. So the mark weightings given to each section is the same. Okay, so let's start to take a bit of a look at what's new, what has changed, what exciting developments have we got to look forward to in the new syllabus. So the first huge change is the sheer number of pieces that have been added across all of the grades. So a number of modern acoustic players have contributed pieces across all the grades. People such as Chris Woods, Will McNichol, Stuart Ryan, Gordon Giltrap, Clive Carroll. Chris Woods has actually written percussive guitar pieces specifically starting from grade one. So if you want to get started on learning percussive guitar at grade one, you can, um, which I think is a great addition uh, for those starting out who are interested in being able to play guitar in a kind of more modern way. So flat picking pieces have been included and added into every grade. Flat picking is essentially what I would just call using a pick. There are a lot of options for those who like to use alternate tunings. Dadgad tuning has been introduced from grade five. One of the grade eight pieces written by uh, Will McNichol requires the use of a loop pedal. Bear in mind also that all of the rhythm playing study examples and the accompaniment examples have been refreshed across all the grades. So all that means is they've just got some new chord progressions to freshen it up and keep it interesting. So for grades seven and eight, there are actually five pieces to choose from in the handbook. Just gives you that little bit more choice and a bit more variety as you go up through the higher grades. An important point just to mention, and of course, depending on when you're watching this, but the old syllabus is still valid for use throughout the whole of 2020. So you can use that for any exams throughout the whole of 2020. As soon as we get into 2021, you will only be able to use the new syllabus for exams. Do bear in mind that you can, of course, use the new syllabus straight away. In case you haven't noticed already, the new syllabus boasts a rather smart looking cover design, which has been designed in a way to ensure that no two covers are the same, which is quite cool and it's quite a nice touch. The initial and preliminary exams have been renamed. Initial exam is now referred to as step one and the preliminary exam has now been named step two. Thankfully, CDs are now a thing of the past. You can now download all of the audio tracks across all the grades for free from the LCM website, which should be appearing as a link here. You'll also find it as a link down in the notes here. So I think one of the best things about this syllabus is just the wide range of styles which have been introduced across all of the grades. I think it does a great job of catering to the various tastes of different players. Whether you're into sort of acoustic blues, you know, contemporary finger style, percussive guitar, more traditional music, you kind of flat picking or alternate tunings, it's all in there. 
So personally, I feel this syllabus offers something that just other exam boards don't. Whilst a lot of other exams will just provide the pieces, and it, often it's just pieces in one style, not only has this syllabus introduced a load of new pieces in a varying range of styles, there are, of course, all the elements which test the player properly. So as an acoustic player, you're gonna be tested on your scales, arpeggios, and your chords, as well as your ability to accompany um, and your ability to listen, which are, of course, all essential parts of being a musician. So if you've got any questions about the exams themselves, how they're assessed, anything to do with the books, pop a question below and we'll get back to you. Otherwise, I hope you enjoyed it. Just make sure that you go and check them out.